Options trading and stop losses are a terrible mix because some options can lose 50% overnight and then regain all of that and more to where you could have been profitable, but if you had set up a stop loss order, then you would have been stopped out. And this is why I stopped using stop losses. But today we're gonna cover this in a little bit more detail. So the obvious reason why I stopped using stop losses is because options are extremely volatile to where most of the time I'm trading options that can go up or down 50% on a daily basis because I love the volatility that comes with these type of options. Call me a degenerate, call me whatever you want, but out here it's either tendies or windies. And if you're setting up stop losses and leaving these orders in overnight and subjecting yourself to the wild overnight swings that we can see in the stock market, then you might run into the situation where your option is down by 50% overnight, but then by the end of the day, it regains all of that to where you could have been profitable. Options are just way too volatile to be setting stop losses. Instead, I think most people should use a mental stop loss. And this is where exit plans come into place and what I've been doing recently in order to improve my trading. So instead of using these stop losses, before I open my order, I'm gonna set up an exit plan on when I'm planning to get out of my trade. I'll set up a few price levels that I think I can get out at, or I'll set a specific time that I think I need to get out by or I'll be searching for specific news on the company that I'm trading. That way I know if the sentiment for that stock is changing and I can get out of the trade that I'm in. These are a few of the most important things whenever it comes to price action, sentiment, price levels, and trends. And if any of these break, then I'm going to get out of the trade, but I'm not gonna do this by setting up a stop loss. And another reason why I'm done using stop losses, and that's a period is because sometimes it's really hard to predict what an options value is going to be, especially in the market that we're in right now, where we have a crap ton of demand in the options chain to where the implied volatility for the options are way, way high. So this means with a higher volatility, you're more susceptible to vega decay to where your options are going to lose value if implied volatility drops and the demand for your specific option comes down. This means if you place a stop loss order expecting your option to be at a specific price based on where the stock is trading, say you're using a tool like OptionStrat, it's not guaranteed that the option is going to be at that price given where the stock is trading if the implied volatility is going up or going down. For every 1% change in implied volatility, your options value is going to change by the Vega value. So it's hard to predict where the price is going to be. There's a B. And this is another reason why I stop using stop losses. Now for the last reason why I don't use stop losses, we're going to have to put on our tinfoil hat. And this is that there is possible market manipulation. Now, I'm not going to confirm or deny whether it's happening because I certainly don't know, but there is a possibility, maybe like a 2% chance, that market makers are looking at people's limit orders and then moving the markets accordingly because at the end of the day, the market makers is who gets to decide what the value of the contracts are worth because they are the main entity that is buying and selling these options to us retail traders. So they're the ones that are controlling the prices of these options and if they're able to see your limit order, then they can send the value of that option just below your limit order to where you get stopped out and then the option could immediately recover. Now again, this sounds like a bunch of conspiracy theory bullshit, but if you are trading maybe enough contracts, then there is some incentive for these market makers to actually start doing this. But if you're only trading maybe, you know, one, two, five contracts at a time, chances are this isn't going to happen to you. But I've certainly had times where my limit order wouldn't get filled when I'm trading 50 spreads at a time even though my limit order was set for either the bid price if I'm trying to sell the option or I set the limit price to the ask if I'm trying to buy an option. 
So I know there's something going on here, especially if you're trading more contracts. And this is why I'm done using stop losses. So the first reason was the overnight swings and the volatility that comes with options trading. The second reason was that it's very hard to predict what your options value is going to be because of the insane volatility that we're experiencing in the market right now, which makes the implied volatility change around and your options value will change around accordingly. And the final reason why I'm done using stop losses was because of possible market manipulation. But I gave you the solution to this. Instead of using a hard stop loss, set some mental stop losses, set an exit plan before you open your trade. And this will benefit you a lot more than having a hard stop loss and getting closed out because of the extreme volatility in the stock market. Hopefully this was useful. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of this video. And thank you to all my patrons for their support. And as always, remember to stay positive, stay green. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.